swimming is the kind of sport where if you're going to take something and make it faster, you're going to make something slower. Like it's a kind of give and take with propulsion versus drag. So I think it's about, yes, there are things I could work on, but is it worth trying to change something that I've been doing forever and I'm really good at it just to make something else a little bit better and to make that skill worse? So I think it's, it's still up in the air. When I go into training, I go into just do the best that I can and not think too much about it, I guess. And I do a lot of thinking at school, so swimming is kind of sometimes when I get to just turn my brain off for a little bit. I spend five hours a day training, probably. I think it's just practice and natural skill. Most of it is just trained in practice. Like she has made the decision to always work on these things and to be exceptional at it. Underwater, she does a few things that are just exceptional. She's able to keep her upper body really stable and maintain a great line through her upper body. The width of her kick doesn't exceed the width of her body by too much, so she doesn't create much resistance while she's kicking at this high velocity. She just does all of these small things better than just about everybody else in the world. The drag is obviously something you want to minimize when you're swimming and trying to get propulsion when you can. And I mean, I'm still, there's a lot to work on kind of the wall part and then into the beginning of the underwater. So I think that's probably where my focus, if I were to say I want to focus on something, that would probably, that would be it. The things that you'll look at in underwater footage is like ensuring that she carries her speed through a turn and she maintains her right technique through a turn so that she pushes off the wall with the most velocity possible. She exits the water as clean as possible to take advantage of all the work that she did underwater and that carries forward into the swims. It is a matter of managing energy throughout the race to ensure that you have the right amount to finish and to finish strongly. Every element of her underwater, I love to see more athletes doing. Whether it's the work ethic, the technique, the speed of it, um, the reliability of it, we've had more success and athletes in general have more success by accentuating their strengths than sometimes you want to improve your weaknesses, but the work that goes into improving those weaknesses, the payoff is a little bit less. So like Maggie is super strong underwater and she has an ability to exit at a velocity that's even higher. Yes, I want to swim fast and do well, but I'm also trying to focus more on the technical elements because I've had such limited racing opportunities this year. I'm sure that she does a lot of small things that maybe none of us ever get to see, but it adds up to some big results. Having been swimming for as long as I have and trying to make slight changes, it does feel really off at first. So I think just if I change something, like I've been trying to work on my entry and fly lately and I haven't really seen how that's gonna change anything yet. She's an athlete that I think others relate to. You know, she's not a foot taller than other athletes and she's not necessarily have like outward attributes that everyone goes like, I can't do that because of this. She, she looks like a lot of young athletes and I think that is good for them to be able to relate to it and then be able to mimic it. Um, so I think there's just about everything she does. We would love to teach younger athletes how to do as well. She swims her second 50 of her race. Um, when it's at its best, it's better than everyone else in the world. She tends to get a leg up on that second lap, not only by being faster underwater, but by exiting that moment with more speed than everybody else. So she's starting that second 50, ideally at a faster speed than anyone else that she's competing with. No one is repeated as Olympic champion in the 100 fly. So obviously that's on my mind, but I'm trying not to put additional pressure on myself, I guess. I'm not overly stressed or overthinking things like I tend to do better.